Hi everyone, Gretchen Mullen Savitsky, the president of NHDI Concourse Community College, here for my weekly Friday Savitsky's vlog. Uh, today I'm actually going to start off with talking about a social media campaign. It is called hashtag and CC stigma. That is, of course, and community college stigma. Um, here I have a little sign, NCC stigma. Um, this is a campaign that was started by a president of, let me see, Steve Robinson from um, Owens Community College in Ohio. He's done a wonderful job at really trying to break down the stigma. Um, I think he, I read somewhere that he was uh, hearing about, about colleges that were chopping off the community from their, from their names because of the stigma. So they were trying to say, you know, we're from the college of instead of the community college of because of enrollment, because of stigma related to community colleges. He thought, found this really sad um, and very troubling because he knows about the incredible value of community colleges. So he started this NCC stigma campaign. He's, he's vlogged about it. He has a podcast about it uh, because he wants to end stigma. I wrote a uh, blog on GretchenMullenSavitsky.com to end it as well, to end community college uh, stigma, because there is stigma. Um, the fact that we're open access to some people means that we let anybody in, that we're third, we're grade 13, that we're the last resort um, for education where we have incredible education at community colleges, and we know that we do. We have our small class sizes, we have free services, we focus on learning, we focus on uh, supporting our students, we do honors, we do, we do it all and we do it really well and we connect with our community. So I really want to end community college stigma as well. I want people to know that this is an incredible place to start your education, um, to, to finish your education. You can do two years of college, you can move on to a fabulous career, or you can transfer. So let's all, when we send out social media, Let's make sure that we are focusing and using this hashtag NCC stigma in all that we do because we want to support that campaign um, to break the stigma. So that's the first thing I wanted to start with, out with. Uh, the second thing is uh, we are going to have a, our 17th annual, that's 17 years, our 17th annual wheelchair basketball game on November 4th from 4 to 6 p.m. in our gym. And this, we're doing something different this year. We're going to be competing against the community. So there's going to be four teams, NHTI staff and admin teams, and four community teams. And we are going to be trying to raise money for the um, Zach DeWitz Scholarship Fund. Zach was a student in our addiction counseling uh, major. Uh, he was an incredible sp a sports fan. He was a beloved friend. People loved him, love him. Um, and he planned to uh, graduate from NHTI, but unfortunately he passed away from his, um, his uh, genetic condition. So we are supporting that scholarship. Uh, we would really like to see you at that game. I am going to be in a wheelchair and I'm going to be participating. So you want to come and see me because I have not bounced a basketball for probably 30 years. <laughs> So I think that's going to be fun just to see that. Um, so as I said, um, November 4th, 4 to 6 p.m. in the gym is to raise money for, for this really incredible um, scholarship. So that, Wings of Knowledge. Everyone knows about the Wings of Knowledge held in our library. This is a, the next one is going to be Covered Bridges, Past, Present, and Future. We're going to have a fabulous speaker, Bill Caswell. He's from the National Society for the Preservation of Co Covered Bridges. Um, he will be coming, as I said, November 5th, and all of our presentations are at 6 o'clock in the library. So you want to come and you want to make sure that you come to that too. So those are the three things. And of course, what do I end with? I always end with my data dash. So my data dash um, this week is about OER. Those are open educational resources. Those are the free or reduced cost textbooks for our students. Incredibly important. We want to do as many OER classes as possible because this is retention for our students. Students who have to pay for expensive textbooks, um, they will not get the textbook, uh, which of course affects student success. Um, they will say, well, I have to get this textbook so I can't take another class. So it really affects our um, students' ability to get through, to be successful, to graduate. And we really want to um, ensure that we are moving towards more classes that are OER. 
Our two faculty leads in this project, are, this is a um, system-wide project, are Alla Lindsay and Carrie Cook. They've been fabulous. We have, um, first piece of data, we have the percentage of courses using free or low-cost textbooks for NHTI is 5%. So we have a ways to go there. And the percent of students in at least one course with free or low-cost textbooks is 11%. So we know that our students uh, want this. There's 11%. We want to see that jump. Uh, we want to have a goal of saving students a million dollars. Let's have that goal, a million dollars. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Uh, the students say, hey, NHGI really cares about me. Um, they are creating this curriculum. There's wonderful resources, too. Um, this is not something new. So we have a lot of open source resources that are fabulous that can be used. So if you have an interest in this, you want to definitely contact Ellen Lindsay or Carrie Cook. Uh, you can contact me. Um, we, we want to promote this much, much more. So that's the data dash for today is the OER. Hope you have a great weekend. We have tons going on this weekend, lots of sports, lots of championships in our soccer. Um, come, come and visit, come participate and go NHTI. Have a great weekend.